Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, July 24th, 2017. It's almost 2pm New Zealand time. And this is a quick video about the recent CME that happened several hours ago. Now, a lot of people are talking about this huge CME or solar flare that was seen coming off from the back of the sun. Now it's not earth directed. Um, but a lot of people are making a big deal out of it as if it's something unusual which it isn't. Yes, it is quite a large CME, um, but we do see large CMEs from time to time, and especially during times of peak activity. The sun is actually fairly quiet at the moment, despite uh, recent activity. We're not seeing a lot of sunspots and so on. But anyway, to try and put this into some sort of perspective, I've just quickly gone to the Stereo Ahead Core 2 images, and pulled up the data for the last month going back to the 1st of July and um, things are fairly quiet through from the 1st of July up until the 14th and then I'm going to show you what happened on the 14th and then again on the 17th just to try and put this into some perspective so let's take a look at that now so we're currently on July the 12th 2017 and I'm going to run this forward and let's see what happens on the 14th and then the 17th. So we're now on the 13th and 14th. There we go. There was a large CME there. 15th. 16th. And here we go on the 17th. There is another CME there. So it's nothing terribly unusual. I mean, the usual fear mongers and doom merchants are jumping on it as if it's some big deal. Some are claiming that something has impacted the sun. Um, well, uh, does that mean that something has impacted the sun every time that there's a CME? And uh, also, just to try and put things in perspective, some viewers may be aware of the Carrington event. The Carrington event occurred in 1859 and it was a massive CME that was actually earth directed and it overloaded the telegraph systems uh, even causing fires in some places. There were spectacular bright aurorae that were seen and if the same sort of event that happened in 1859 occurred today it would cause significant damage to our power grids and communication systems. The 1859 Carrington event was a significant CME, but of course we didn't have the technology then that we have today, the sensitive technology and power grids. Uh, the telegraph was fairly new, and uh, even with the telegraph systems, the telegraph wires were overloaded. But the point is that uh, that was in 1859, that was 158 years ago. So if anybody wants to blame this recent CME on Nibiru or some other such nonsense, does that mean that Nibiru also caused the Carrington event in 1859? Well, according to the Nibiru believers, Nibiru comes around every 3,600 years, right? I mean, even if we cut the 3,600 years in half, for, you know, going through and then coming back and say, well, 1,800 years. Uh, well, the Carrington event was 158 years ago. So, you know, what caused the Carrington event? Was it Nibiru, Planet X? Or was it just the sun doing what the sun does? Which is exactly what we're seeing. So I just thought I'd try and put that into some perspective. Uh, I might follow up later and uh, dig out some more CME videos. In fact, all you need to do is go on YouTube and search for Massive CME or Massive Solar Flare or something like that, and you'll find plenty of other examples of Massive Solar Flares that have been seen in the Stereo Ahead, Stereo Behind, Soho SDO images. But, of course, the fear mongers will try and make this into something that it's not. This is Dazza the Cameraman. Thank you for watching.